Hey, kittens, you seen my rain boots? Mom! <gasps> you can't just take things and fill them with... Ugh, why didn't you ask? Well, you shouldn't be spying on us. Spying? I'll tell you about a spy. Really? I love spy stories. Me too. What's it called? Secret Agent Mouse. Ooh. Once upon a time, there was a secret agent. The name's One. Agent One. Ha! Ha! Hiya! And his latest mission was going to be his most dangerous yet. And I'm going to need help from the Masters of Disguise on this one. Agents Two and Three. Hey! That can be us! Shh! It's a secret. Oh, yeah. Right. Go, go kitty, kitties, kitties, let's, let's go. go. Agents, we just received this video. Hey, Baron Parmesan here. If you don't send me one squabillion dollars by tonight, I will set off my invention that'll turn everyone's candy into stinky cheese. <laughs> oh, this is serious. The Baron's evil laboratory is hidden here, behind his cheese counter at the supermarket. Agents, I need you to keep the Baron busy while I sneak into his secret lab, find that device, and turn it off. Got it. And we know just the disguises for this mission. Well... Perfect. See you at the market. Ooh, Agent One's gadget bag. These are cool. Let's borrow them. Sure. We'll give them back to Agent One at the store. Great. We're in. Oh, does Baby want a gadget? Rocket boots? X-ray glasses? Robot arm? Whoopsie. <laughs> Hello? I'm in. It's time. Good day, sir. I'd like to buy some cheese for my grandson. What a cute little fella. Baby like some Emmental? <coughs> Manchego. Yup. Brie? Yeah. Stilton? Yeah. Hello? Agent 3, I'm trapped like a rat, and all of my gadgets are missing. Oh! Is everything okay? Oh, yes. Will you just watch the baby for a minute? Grandma needs to wee wee. Gloucester. Yeah. Gorgonzola. Yeah. Gouda. I'm sorry, Agent One. We borrowed your gadgets without asking. Toss me the rocket boots. Hurry! Stinking Bishop. Yuck! What was that? Don't you have any plain old cheddar? Hey, you're not a baby. Huh? <laughs> Here are your gadgets. And just in time. No! X-ray glasses. There it is. Come on! There was a whole second left! Well, it looks like jail for you, Baron. Then, do you think maybe I could borrow those rocket boots? Polite of you to ask, but no. Processed cheese food, here I come. <laughs> that was a funny story. Yeah. Sorry, Mom. We should have asked first. Thanks for saying so, Kit. But don't worry. You can borrow the bear's boots instead. <laughs> All right, time for bed, kittens. Aw, if we were grown-ups, we could stay up late. That would be so much better than being a kid. Wouldn't it be great if there was a machine that could let you change who you are? Hey, why don't we make up a bedtime story about that? Yeah! And I know just what we'll call it, the Changeinator. <laughs> <laughs> 
Once upon a time, there was an inventor who invented all sorts of things, like a machine that would tickle you. <laughs> <laughs> and another that could eat your vegetables for you. But his greatest invention was the Changeinator, which could change you into whatever you wanted to be. Yes! Ah, it's finished. Now I just need a couple of guinea pigs. We could be guinea pigs. Or regular pigs. Or aardvarks. Or anything. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Hi! We'll be your guinea pigs. But actually, we'd prefer to be bats. Great! Yeah! Bats can stay up all night. And fly wherever they want. Then bats it is. Put these on. If you decide you don't like being bats, call out Changeinator, and you'll get sent right back here. That'll never happen. Ready? Ready! Wow, we're really bats. And we're really flying. In the middle of the night. Baddies, dinner! Just in time. I'm hungry. Me too. You're in luck. I made your favorite. What's that? Bugs. What else? Yuck! yuck. What do you mean, yuck? Bats love bugs. Not this bat. Changeinator! What? You didn't like being bats? The flying was amazing. But eating bugs? That's gross. Well, would you like to be something else instead? How about fish? Yeah, it'll be awesome to swim underwater. Then fish it is. Ready? Ready. Wow, swimming's even better than flying. <laughs> Your bubble looks like a crab. How about this one? <laughs> a turtle! How about this? Shark! No! Duck! No! No, kid duck! A shark! Ah! Changeinator! Hey, I just cleaned that. I don't want to be a fish. I want to be... a skunk. Then skunk it is. You! You stink! I want to be a porcupine! Then porcupine it is! Ow! That hurt! Sorry! I want to be a snake! Then snake it is! Ah! I want to be a tyrant. Wait! There's only enough changeinator juice for one more change! Whatever you become next, that's when you'll stay forever! We want to be kittens. Ah, good choice. Kittens it is. And so Kit and Kate turned back into kittens and landed safely in their own beds. Their warm, comfy beds. Yeah. Sure you don't want to switch places with me? I'll go to sleep, and you can stay up late to do the laundry and dishes. Sounds really fun, Mom. But we'll just dream about it instead. <laughs> <laughs> that cowboy hat will look great on me. You can't just grab things. That's rude. Be polite. May I please grab that cowboy hat? May I please say no? Uh. <clears throat> Uh, Kit! No. Kate, stop fighting. I have another hat. How about we make up a story, partners? Yeah, about a cowboy. And a cowgirl, too. Who are in a rodeo. Where everything is made of candy. <laughs> right. The lollipop rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, the lollipop rodeo came to town. It's the lollipop rodeo. Giddy up, giddy up, and hotty ho, shake your hooves and your nose and do si do at the lollipop rodeo. Howdy 
everybody. Hi. I'm Schultz Schultzstein, and welcome to the Lollipop Rodeo. We're gonna have fun, sweet time. Yeah, the sweetest. And how about the Peanut Gallery Band? <laughs> Thank you. You're too sweet. Yodel, yodel, and away we go. It's the Lollipop Rodeo. <laughs> now. Are you ready for the rootin' tootin'est cowpokes this side of the chocolate river? Yeah, yeah. we're ready! <gasps> that can be us! Yeah, I'll be cowboy y'all! Y'all? And I'll be cowgirl yeehaw! Yeehaw! Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Hi, y'all! Hi! Cowboy Y'all and Cowgirl Yeehaw showed the crowd their licorice lasso tricks. Woo! Barrel of hot chocolate racing. Woo and candy cane pitching. Right. Well, cowpokes, we got a special challenge for you today. Meet Demon. <gasps> oh. He's the meanest bucking bronco this side of any side. He's scary. Yeah, he doesn't look so sweet. Whoever can ride Demon the longest is the winner. All right. Well, that'll be me. I'm the best. Oh, please. No one beats me. Well, you're both in for a rough ride. Looky here, horsey. I'm the boss, not you. Now, take me on a ride that will break records or I'll break you. Are you ready, y'all? Ready! One! Hey! Two! Whoa! Three! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh, well, right in the vanilla pudding pit. Better luck next time. You just wait, demon. Well, how about you, cowgirl? Are you ready to ride the meanest bucking bronco around? Are you? Ready for Demon. His name's Butterscotch. Hey there, Butterscotch. You're the very sweetest, most nicest, beautiful rodeo horse in the world. Yes, you are. Would you please let me ride on your back? I promise to be gentle. It's time, yeehaw. All right, here we go, Butterscotch. Good boy. One, Ooh. two, Ooh. three, I've never four, seen anything like five, that. Good boy. Six. Oh, we're doing great. Seven. Eight. Well, this is fun. Nine. Whoa. Ten. <laughs> we have a winner. Yeah. And a new record. Yeah. Yay. And I thank you kindly on behalf of nice cow pokes everywhere. Yeah. Oh. So you see, when you ask for things rudely, don't be surprised if you get a rude answer back. But if you ask nicely, you might just get a nice reaction instead. May I please try your hat on? Why, certainly, partner. What's going on, you two? We can't get the snowman's head all the way up there. We're too short. So what are you going to do? We'll just find something else to do. Good idea. There's no way we can finish this. Well, how about we make up a story? Okay. About a mouse. Who wanted to build a house? And the name of the story can be... The Mouster Builder. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a little mouse who dreamed of building himself a house. <laughs> Made of cheese. But when the mouse tried to build his dream house, he didn't have much luck at all. Oh, Mamma Mia! And that was a good day. Oh, 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 little Lero! And just when the mouse thought it couldn't get any worse... Why, 
Mia me. I hope he's all right. He really should have a doctor look at him. Hey, we can be the doctor's kit. Great idea, Kate. Let's go help that poor guy. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! To the patient. Don't worry, we'll help you. We'll get you to the hospital, and you'll feel better in no time. But I need to finish my house. See? <laughs> Dr. Kate, we must get him on a stretcher, now! What about the bag? I got it. Oh. Ooh. What about the bag? I got it. Oh. Oh. Maybe you need a little help with that bag. Thanks. We couldn't have done this without your help. Wait a second. That's it. I just need a little help too. Would you help me build my house? Sure! Thanks for asking! I'm a feeling better already! Ah. <laughs> can you hold it right here so I can hammer it in? Sure! It sure is easier when you ask for help. That's it, kid. Just hold it steady. You got it. And Kate, can you spread that cheese right here to hold these together? Come in right up. Okay, kittens. Great. I'm ready for another shingle. Can you pass one up? Sure. Happy to help. Thanks to you too. I couldn't have done it without you. That was a great story, Dad. So all the mouse had to do was ask for help? Yep, it was as simple as that. Well, then, could you help us with our snowman, Dad? My pleasure. Ready for the eyes and nose. I got it. Can you lift me up? Of course. OK, Kate. Your turn with the mouth and scarf. Ready. Looking good, Dad. Yeah, thanks for your help and your story. Aw, shucks. It's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Kate, you okay? It's almost bleeding. I need a Band-Aid. Oh, I'll get one. Uh -huh. Anything else? And strawberry ice cream, please. Ow, my knee! I can't walk! Maybe a story will help. Yeah! yeah. Oh, oh, ow! I know a good one. It's an almost true story called The Wolfington News. Once upon a time lived Empress Wolfina and her advisor, Sir sheep -a -Lot. I just love sheep's clothing. Her land spread far and wide but she had no idea what was happening in her kingdom. You think the Empress knows about our skipping festival? What? We have an Empress? She also had no idea about the weather. What a lovely day! Ugh. What that Empress needs is news. Hey, we can be TV reporters and tell her everything. Sure you can do it with your injuries? Uh, uh, I think so. Go, go, kitty kitties, kitty, let's go. go! Empress, we're your new TV reporters. How wonderful! What's a TV? And now, the Wolfington News. Today, Sir sheep -a -Lot had a record-breaking shearing. It's true. All this from one sheep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Impressive. That's enough for three sweaters. And then, Sir sheep -a -Lot ate five bowls of grass for lunch. Five? Hm, tis a private matter. I love this news. Any more? Uh, good news.
news. The clock tower is now the tallest in the world. Marvelous! Whoa. Is that true? I don't know. I just made it up. Uh, astronauts report Empress Wolfina's teeth are uh, so shiny they can uh, be seen from space. Impossible. Well, I do brush. And, uh, the number six is... Is actually the same as the number nine. <laughs> yes, and doctors say eating too much chocolate is good for you. <gasps> Amazing! <laughs> Where do you get this news? Tis fishy. If I were emperor, your news would be banished. New news! Sir Sheepalot plans to become new emperor. And ban all news! Oh, tis not so! But it must be true. It's on the news. Lock him up! I'm surprised at you! Tis fake news, Empress! See, my lady? Wait a minute. Six and nine aren't the same. Oh, I don't feel good. <gasps> the royal reporters are fibbers? Exactly. We no longer believe you. You are banished. And so it was. The reporters left town in disgrace. And then suddenly in the distance, they saw... Look! <gasps> we have to warn the Empress! King me! A huge storm's coming! Enough lies! Please, believe us! Your wool! It'll be blown away! Look, it's a lovely... day! Oh no! My wool! The Empress forgave her reporters. You may return under one condition. Kit and Kate will be back with the news once they've picked up the most amazing, softest royal wool ever. It's kinda itchy. What? It is. A bit. Hmm. Great story, Grandpa. You know, I think we should skip the playground today. You two need rest while you're hurt. My knee. It's better. My leg, too. Amazing. I think your story made us all better. It's true! <laughs> <laughs>